scares us just thinking about it. When you hear it, you're gonna think we're insane. Try us, please, from the start. It started out small, like a hand or a leg was in a different position, and its head was looking up instead of down, and then one day it was in a completely different room. It was moving around by itself. Ever think that maybe somebody had a key to your apartment and was just playing a trick on you? That's exactly what we thought, but never once did we find any sign or evidence of intrusion. And this all led you to believe that the doll was possessed? Yes. Camilla got in touch with a medium. We learned from her that a seven-year-old girl named Annabelle Higgins had died in this apartment. She was lonely and took a liking to my doll. All she wanted was to be friends. When we heard this, we felt really sorry for her. I mean, we're nurses, we help people. So, we gave her permission to move into the doll. Wait, you did what? She wanted to live with us by inhabiting the doll. We said yes. But then, things got worse. <laughs> when we came home, she was sitting in the hallway. But we had left her in the spare room. <laughs> 